Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about meningioma. Meningioma is a tumor of the meninges. Meninges are the connective tissue layer of covering over the brain and spinal cord. And meningioma is a common, mostly benign intracranial tumor. This tumor is from the meninges, not from the neurons. Meningioma arises from the arachnoid meningothelial cells. Most frequent sites of mening meningioma are on the convexities of the cerebral hemisphere, parasagittal region, fox cerebri, that is a fold of dura mater in between the two cerebral hemisphere, sphenoid rings and inside the ventricle of the brain over the arachnoid stroma over the choroid plexus. Meningioma may be asymptomatic and is diagnosed incidentally. People may take an x-ray or the MRI CT scan of the head region, then they may get the diagnosis of meningioma. Okay, it may be incidental. Most of them are separable from the underlying brain, but the anaphylactic type or the malignant type, it is difficult to separate it from the brain. Meningioma may be multiple and in association with eight cranial nerve, that is the vestibular cochlear nerve, suanoma or glioma, that is the tumor of the neuroglia and is diagnosed as neurofibromatosis type 2. Okay, it might have other mutation. One of the mutation is NF2 gene on the long arm of chromosome number 22. So, we have classification according to World Health Organization, grade 1, most common less mitotic figure around five five mitotic figure even less per high power field okay role pattern world pattern of cells cells has circular pattern of arrangement maybe collagen proliferation and shemoma body these are concentric substance rounded su substance inside some of the cancer or tumor, maybe benign tumor, like that of the meningioma, maybe in papillary thyroid carcinoma or cancer, overhand cancer, will get the shemoma bodies. These are concentric substances, calcified concentric substances found in tumors. A typical meningioma, according to World Health Organization grade 2, will get around 10 mitotic figure. Anapolistic or malignant meningioma, who grade 3, will get around 20 or more mitotic figure. Etiology and predisposing factor, we don't know the exact cause of meningioma, maybe some type of mutation, exposure to radiation, and male to female ratios. 2 is to 3, obesity may be a factor, hormone exposure, it is found that it is more common in female and also present in the postmenopausal women who take the HRT, hormone replacement therapy, they have more chance to get meningioma, okay, hormone exposure, third to seven decade of life, but it may happen at any time of the, of the life. Okay, so this image I have taken from the textbook, Rowan's Basic Pathology. Here is the meningioma, here. Okay, it may be inside here, or the fox cerebri. Okay, and histopathological picture this is the gross morphology. Histopathological picture will get the world pattern of the mass here inside the tumor like role pattern element of cell 
there may be some fibrosis okay and we may have schemoma bordis we may get the schemoma bordis like this like this like this schemoma body is not always present around 60 to 70 percent cases it is present and the role pattern is also not always present we may have more fibrosis and these are the cells here proliferating cells okay we may have concentric arrangement like this calcified and also arrangement in layers in a world pattern in case of meningioma in most cases the world health organization grade one here is the meningioma it is compressing the brain so sign symptom depends on which part of the brain is compressed if it is the visual cortex then person may have blurring of vision if it involves the eight cranial nerve then a person may have hearing loss if it is over the olfactory nerve or olfactory pathway then person may have difficulty in smelling something person may have history of other problem like that epilepsy due to meningioma is possible so depending on where the meningioma mass is what structure is is compressed if it compressed the optic chiasm then we may have by temporal hemianopsia or we may have blurring of vision or if the optic nerve is involved okay here is the picture this is the oral pattern of tumor cell which are instinctively separate from other like this this is the oral pattern oral pattern Okay, we have also shemoma boti concentric substance here. One, another one is here. And this is the MRI, MRI of the person with meningioma. And this is the mass, the meningioma is here. This is the meningioma. It may happen anywhere, maybe on the posterior aspect. If this is the situation, it may damage the olfactory function or sense of smell. Meningioma clinical feature depends on site of meningioma, may be asymptomatic for many years, may be incidentally diagnosed, headache, nausea, vomiting, blurring of vision, loss of sense of smell or hearing, language difficulty because it may happen over the motor speech area of Broca, maybe in the Barnick area, and memory loss may be present due to damage to the brain, seizure or convulsion is a common feature of meningioma okay usually in the late stage it come but it may come in the early early time of tumor okay depending on where it is compressing which part of the brain is compressing diagnostic workup by computer tomography or magnetic resonance imaging treatment observation if asymptomatic small and incidentally discovered but if it is big, it is engaging in size, surgeons should take care. So surgical removal, like this lady, she has that big meningioma. Radiation therapy is also essential for the meningioma. And that's all about meningioma. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice and wonderful day. Bye now.